Hey everyone, welcome back to the cabin. I decided um, I'm going to try to get this half of the cabin done so that I can move uh, everything that's on the front half onto this side. So once I get all this trim up, the only thing that I will lack is putting this ceiling up over uh, the bathroom area right here. And then, of course, putting the slab wood on the ceiling uh, up top. But I'm not really worried about that right now. I'm just trying to get, you know, all the sheetrock hung, get the insulation put in, and kind of getting prepared for winter. Uh, all this trim work can come later. But uh, I'm trying to get everything done on the bottom so that when I uh, pack stuff in here, I don't have to, if I have time, you know, rainy days or whatever, I don't have to move all that stuff down here on the bottom to try to uh, get this trim work in here. So that's what I'm working on.
Well, for whatever reason, um, I don't quite know, but this, when I frame this out, it's an inch and a half too low. So instead of tearing the wall apart and redoing that, I decided that I'm going to just going to go ahead and cut a little off the bottom of the door and install it that way. That's going to be a lot less work because of this side basically being finished, this side being finished, and all of that being painted. I hate that, but um, there is not a whole lot that I can do about it unless I do that or cut this down just a little bit. So that's what I'm going to do. Um, you know, it's not, like I said, it's not what I want to do, but um, that will fix it and I can get the bathroom door installed. Well, I've got the door hung, but when I picked up this doorknob, it's actually a different color than the other two that I've got installed. So I'm going to have to take this back and make sure and get more of a brass color. This is more of a copper color, I guess. Anyway, but yeah, the door uh, is hung and it lines up nice. So as soon as I get um, the correct doorknob we will have this door installed. I'm not sure if I'm going to leave it this color yet or not. Uh, we'll just have to wait and see. Um, I'm going to let my daughter maybe decide what we're going to do with that. But anyway now I can go ahead and install this trim around here and finish that on uh, towards the corner of the wall.
hey guys I hope you enjoyed that video I'm gonna go ahead and end it here but what I thought I would do is something that I, I picked up in the mailbox um, there's no telling how long it's been there so I do apologize but uh, my son reminded me the other day when I actually went into town and um, was picking up some supplies anyway I thought I would do an unboxing I started to open this but then I thought I would do an unboxing so this item was sent here you know and we we don't expect anything but we certainly do appreciate you know the thoughtfulness that goes behind uh, something like this um, and I learned a long time ago in church not to choke out the Holy Spirit so we certainly do appreciate it thank you very much but this item right here comes to us from Kevin Kevin says we really enjoy your YouTube channel we've been watching for some time one thing we notice is that you and your son like hot sauces my father passed away earlier this year he loved hot sauces also the hotter the better for him I always pick some up in my travels and sent them to him while out and about I saw and these and thought about you uh, and your son I hope you enjoy them so what he sent was this first one um, that I actually started opening I didn't get it pulled out it is Carolina Reaper hot sauce it says fiery hot so we'll set that to the side then he sent uh, let's see I'll tell you what this tape and this bubble wrap sure on there okay this one is peach habanero hot sauce it says it's medium so we'll just set those there kind of like this there can you see them scorpion pepper hot sauce fiery hot so we'll set that one there Taco Reaper sauce, hot. Okay. You know, sometimes I think that when I don't hardly ever get sick and haven't been to the doctor, and I couldn't tell you when, not in the last decade really. Well, yes, I did too. I went to get a checkup, uh, do some blood work, find out where it was at. Everything was uh, all within limits. This one says sweet and spicy ghost pepper hot sauce, hot. Okay, and then this last one. But I think that I always make a standing joke, but you know, thank the Lord I don't get sick. But um, I often kid and say, you know, I think when viruses or germs get close to me, they're like, mmm, nah, because I eat so much spicy stuff. This one says, seven pot primo pepper hot sauce, fiery hot. So if you hear the dogs barking in there, I took Smokey to the vet today. And I got to keep him in the cage for a couple of weeks uh, to give him some rest. So I got two cages in there, got both dogs in them. Uh, couldn't find anything wrong with his leg. If he did injure it, the vet said that, um, you know, just giving him rest might heal because he's such a hyper dog. The adrenaline gets going because when we go to the creek, he just runs and plays like there's nothing wrong. Um, and they'll play outside here like there's nothing wrong. But when he stands and eats, he'll favor that hind leg. But uh, anyway, so. Got some medicines, anti-inflammatory, and some stuff for his skin because he scratches up here. But uh, anyway, guys, we appreciate you stopping by and hanging out with us up here at the homestead. Uh, if you're new to this channel, be sure and go check out our other channel, Outpost Review. That's more behind the scenes on what, why, and how we're doing things up here. Also, be sure and check out our store because, you know, the holidays are coming up and the winter months, and we've got a lot of different styles of hoodies and different things like that, so something might interest you there. Uh, you can, like I said, find that link in the description. Um, also, guys, towards the end of the video, I'll have some icons that pop up. If you want to watch the latest video on the Outpost channel, you can click the top left-hand corner. If you want to watch the most recent review channel uh, video there, you can watch. Or you can press the bottom left-hand corner. So again, guys, thank you so much for stopping by. Thank you again, Kevin, for sending that nice gift. We certainly do appreciate that, and we will put it to good use. We hope everyone has a great afternoon. Y'all take care, and we look forward to seeing you back up here at the cabin again next time.